What is up guys? Welcome back to Heavy Duty Hustle. Noah's about to pull up into the truck. I got my uh, eggs, waffles, and bacon. And we're actually about 400 miles away from Portland, so close to delivering. Last night, you guys, I was fighting these mean old winds. Mean. All right, you guys, I'm gonna try making this video short and sweet, but a lot of you guys are asking me what went on during orientation with Covenant. I know a lot of you guys are looking into joining Covenant, so just let me know down in the comments below how soon you guys are planning to join Covenant or, you know, just your experience at the Covenant orientation or if you ended up choosing another another uh, company. But nonetheless, this is what happened. So we got a plane ticket to get to Chattanooga. We missed our flight on Saturday or on Sunday morning and we ended up getting it rescheduled for later on Sunday. And so the flight from where we were at to Covenant um, to Chattanooga I actually don't even remember. I think it might have been like nine hours or something. Um, but we showed up like around 11 at night and they were still open and everything. They got us a shuttle, got us to the hotel, checked in around one, went to sleep and we woke up the following day. They told us that we have to be there at 7 a.m. at the orientation building. And so they take the shuttle would actually take you to the Covenant orientation like campus or whatever you want to call it, like the hotel and it's pretty much just a motel six you guys and there's like a building like a warehouse type of deal on the side of it and that's where they host like the whole orientation and orientation is on, is from seven to four i believe and they have break or like lunch or whatever around 12. so for all of the days that you're there for orientation i would recommend like getting up early and trying to get there as soon as possible because there's gonna be a line you guys when I first started I assumed that there was gonna be 10 people or less but there was a whole bunch of people there was 40 like about 40 people and yeah just show up early you guys try to get some food in you um, the breakfast there isn't all that but they do you know they do offer food so if you guys want something else the shuttle will take you to another restaurant or you can uber or lift to the Waffle House or Cracker Barrel around there um, but yeah just try to get there early so when you show up at 7 a.m., for us, we have to have our mask on. It was kind of cold, so we had our sweater on waiting outside. And everyone was waiting at the door, and they started letting people in one by one, checking their temperature and asking them the COVID questions. Once the COVID questions were done, they showed us to where the orientation like room is. It's like a big room that has a bunch of computers and stuff. And pretty much orientation is broken up like this. They have a driving test for you. So they're gonna see your road skills and then they're they have a bunch of videos i want to say like if i had to guess it's probably like 60 videos and they range from like being two minutes long to a whole like 20 or 30 minutes long so you'll you'll be busy those for, um first two days for sure and it's possible to finish orientation in two days but some people like me and noah took a third day um and the third day it only took us a couple of hours so we were we were done with all the videos around that time but Another thing that the three days consist of is a drug test, which is a urinal analysis. <laughs> While trying to sound uh, smart or whatever, but yeah, so it's like a it's a piss test pretty much. And then they test your like ability to move, like get on the truck, off the truck. If you're able to squat a certain amount of times, they just want to see your movements and see if you know you're healthy and stuff. And then if you don't have a DOT uh, card, they'll get you one that day also. Or if yours is about to get expired, they'll, um, you know, they'll check on that for you also. They're gonna try taking care of those three, those four things, those that first day. But it usually gets taken care of on the second day, like everything. And then the third day is if, like, you know, you've had some delays on your drug test, or they want to double check your drug test, or, um, or you haven't finished your videos, you know. But that's pretty much how orientation went. Orientation pay, as far as what we got, was. So the first week of most jobs, you don't get paid. You work those hours or whatever, but usually that pay rolls over to the next week and that's where you see your first check in regular jobs. And so that's kind of how it went for Covenant. You don't see your first real check until the second Friday that you're with Covenant. But they do cash advance you about $70 or they cash advanced me and my brother $70 or somewhere around there. Um, that first Friday, I believe, that we were with them just so we can go out and buy some food or buy things for like for the truck or whatever and also during orientation 
after your two or three days, that's when they um, try to get you your ID number and they try to look for a partner for you. And while you're there at Covenant, I would highly recommend you talking to someone, making friends with someone if you come in alone. Like just try to, like while I was there, I wasn't even trying to make friends and I talked to like a whole 10 people and like they were solo and they were, you know, they were trying to look for someone. So, you know, you'll find people there if you're, if you talk to them, ask them what made them want to come and things of that nature, you know, like, hey, like just try talking to them, you know, and hopefully you guys um, create a relationship and you guys might be able to start um, teaming. But a lot of what these guys try to find in teams or if they if they live within a close range to each other if they're smokers if they have pets or like just they try to th think of things that they want and things that they won't want to deal with while on the road so just keep that in mind hopefully this video helps you guys if you guys are new don't forget to subscribe helps the channel grow hopefully we hit 250 by the end of this month <laughs> um but and i appreciate you guys so much i'll be letting you guys know what happened like the first week of being with my trainer I guess and pay and everything like that I do want to start uploading daily so here's to day two hopefully I can get day three going but catch y'all in the next one peace